Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we can work out the exact values of sine, cos and tan of multiples of 60 degrees, 45 degrees and 30 degrees. And I've picked several angles here to demonstrate this but before we start what we've got to do is step back a moment. What you need to be familiar with is the quadrant rule where any angle between 0 and 90 degrees, if you were to take the sine, cos or tan of it, you would get a positive answer and we denote that as all are positive. Between 90 and 180 only sine is positive, between 180 and 270 tan is positive and between 270 and 360 cosine is positive. This is called the quadrant rule and if you're unfamiliar with that there's a link if you're viewing this video in my um, website you'll find there's a link to, um, on this page to the quadrant rule. You'll also need to know the ratio of sides for a 60, 30, 90 degree triangle. This side is 1, the hypotenuse is 2 and this side down here is root 3. You'll also need to know for a 45 degree triangle the ratio of the sides which is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. And again if you're not sure about how we get these results again you should find a link to these tutorials if you're looking at this video on my website. Okay so with this these basic facts okay let's see if we can use it to work out the first one up here sine of 120 degrees. Now to do any of these what I would encourage you to do is to draw a quadrant diagram something like this okay so it doesn't have to be as elaborate okay we just draw a cross like this I'd possibly put naught degrees down there just so that we know where we're starting from now where would you find 120 degrees which one of these quadrants would it be in well clearly it's between 90 and 180 degrees so I would mark a line in that quadrant that is turning round here 120 degrees we'll mark that in like that 120 degrees in this case and what we do is we complete the triangle straight down here to the horizontal line and across you always drop a line to the horizontal here okay well this is 120 degrees and that means that this angle left in here, this acute angle here, is essentially 60 degrees because obviously 120 and 60 makes 180 degrees. Now, we work off this particular right angle triangle now because the sine of 120 degrees is exactly the same as taking the sine of that acute angle, sine of 60 degrees. And what is the sine of 60 degrees? Well, if we've got this 60-30 triangle, we know that sine compares the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be root 3 over 2. So this is going to be root 3 over 2. And there you have that one. And when it comes to the cosine of 120 degrees, that's going to be the same as the cosine of 60 degrees. But there's a slight twist to this. It's not really the same as the cosine of 60 degrees. You've got to remember your quadrants. In the second quadrant, only sine was positive. And that was fine. I left this as a positive answer. But for cosine of 120 degrees, you're in this quadrant here. Sine is only positive, so cosine is negative. So you've got to put a minus in front there. So it's the same as minus cosine of 60. Cosine of 60 degrees adjacent over hypotenuse would be 1 over 2, a half. But it, remember, it is minus a half. So easy to trip up there. Tan of 120 degrees. It's going to be the same as doing the tan of 60 degrees, but only tan in the second quadrant is negative. So this is the same as minus the tan of the acute angle, 60 degrees. And what is that? Tan is the opposite over adjacent, so that would be root 3 over 1, or just simply root 3. But we mustn't forget that minus there, minus root 3. 
and you can check out these answers on your calculator and you should find you get these exact values. Okay, you might like to pause the video at this stage and try this one. Okay, did you try it? If not, or even if you did, okay, you might like to see if you've got it right or how we do it. Okay, we draw the quadrant diagrams again then. Okay, we've got our naught degrees there. Now 225 degrees is an angle in the third quadrant. We always turn in an anti-clockwise direction for positive angles. All right, so mark in 225 degrees down here. So we've got that. 225 degrees then is going all the way around here. 225 degrees. Complete the triangle. Triangle, remember, always goes back onto the horizontal line here. And we're looking at this acute angle in here. Haven't got much room there, so I'll just do that there and just put it to the side. Now, what's that going to be? Well, 180 degrees to there, so 225 degrees minus 180, 45 degrees. So that angle in there is 45 degrees. So when it comes to working out this time the sine of 225 degrees, cosine of 225, tan of 225, they're all going to be based on the acute angle 45 degrees. So we must remember though that in this quadrant the only trig function that remains positive is tan. So this one, sine 225, is going to be the same as minus the sine of 45 degrees. Cosine of 225 degrees is the same as minus the cosine of 45 degrees. But the tan of 225 is the same as the tan of 45 degrees. And when it comes to these values, you've got to know your 45 degree triangle and you can work them out from there. Sine of 45 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse, doesn't matter which 45 degree you use, you'll still get the same result. If we use this one, opposite 1, hypotenuse root 2, minus 1 over root 2 then for that one. The cosine of 45 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over root 2, but we've got this minus here, so minus 1 over root 2. When it comes to tan of 225, same as tan of 45 degrees, tan is opposite over adjacent, 1 over 1, which is 1, and it's going to be positive. All right. Again, you might like to pause the video now and have a go at this one and come back when you're ready. Okay, well, let's just see how we get on with this one. Well, again, draw your quadrant diagram and put your naught degrees there. 330 degrees is a turn now into the fourth quadrant, as we say. So, where's that going to be? Well, it's going to be 30 degrees short of a full turn of 360 degrees. So here's our 330 degrees. We'll just mark it in down there. Complete the triangle, projecting back onto the horizontal here. Mark in the angle that we're going to work with, this acute angle here. And that angle in there is 30 degrees. So everything's now based around 30 degrees. But remember, we're in the fourth quadrant and only cosine is positive. So this is going to be the same as minus the sine of 30 degrees. Cosine of 330 is going to be the same as the cosine of 30 degrees. It's going to be positive because cosine is positive. Tan of 330 is going to be minus tan of the acute angle 30 degrees. So, just need to work these ones out, and we're back on the 60-30 triangle, but obviously using the 30 degrees. So, minus sine of 30. Well, sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 1 over 2, minus a half. Cosine of 30 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So, that's equal to root 3 over 2. And finally, 
minus tan of 30, well the tan of 30 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent, 1 over root 3, but minus, minus 1 over root 3. Alright, well I hope that gives you some idea now of how we can work out then the trig ratios in exact form for any angle that is a multiple of 60 degrees, 45 degrees and 30 degrees.